What's up, MTS? It's Palm. I'm going to do a quick video on scope mounts today. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but we have so many of these things here. I figured I'd talk to you guys about a few of them and give my opinions on them for whatever that's worth. Um, I do have a cheat sheet here, so if you see me looking down, that's me reading stuff because there's even, even with something as simple as mounts, there's a, a lot of information here if I want to sparse it out correctly. So um, with that, we'll get to our first one. This is an ADM Recon, a nice green color. These things run about $200, $210. They go a little higher depending on what options you might have. They, they make different heights, so 1.5, 1.7, 1.93. This weighs 8 ounces. You know, they, they come in black. I think they do a tan, and then they do this green sometimes. Um, and then ADM also offers uh, different lines of these things. They offer a scout mount, which is less expensive, and they offer a delta line, which is even more expensive. Um, good middle-of-the-road option. One of the things I like about these is you can buy the caps separate. So if you buy a 30 millimeter mount and then you switch to a 34 millimeter scope, you can get just the, the caps from ADM and switch it over, save yourself a little bit of money. Um, like I said, these are, these are good mounts. I've never had a problem with them. I, I have several, um, really like them really good. It, it's about middle of the road for actually it's probably one of the cheaper options out of all these, but, uh, Oh, and Valhalla offers, ADM doesn't, but Valhalla offers a an offset cap to run red dot on it. So that's kind of nice. I don't have any experience with that, though, on the ADM mounts. So next we're going to talk about Geisley. We've got two of those here. The one on the Razor's mine. This one is Paul's. Um, so Geisley makes a good mount. The... The nuts here, they're, they kind of stick out. That doesn't bother me. Some people don't like that. Um, their mounts run anywhere from 325 to 350. Uh, this is a 154. They also make it a 193. And Reptilian makes a cap. Um, I'll show you on the Reptilian mount. They make these for the, the Geisley mounts as well. Um, those run about 114 bucks, But... This mount right here, the 34 millimeter, weighs 7.15 ounces, and it's been a good mount. Um, Geisley makes good stuff. So then we have my Unity that I bought for this PA. This is a 205 height. I don't really like that. Um, it, it feels too tall getting out and using it. I, it, it looked good on paper and in practice. I, I don't really care for it. Uh, anyway, these things are three hundred sixty-nine dollars. Um, this one weighs seven point three ounces. They make a kind of an arm system with a, a plate uh, for a red dot, and together that will run you about one hundred and ten bucks. One of the things I do not like about this is the way that they they did this. The the back side of these bolts aren't caged, so you can actually it just makes putting it on difficult. Um, I, I swap these scopes a lot between rifles doing this this big review and I always dreaded this one I, I didn't care for that I'm not saying it's bad I just personally did not like it and then couple that with the height um, and the price I don't know um, I don't really care for it I'm probably gonna sell it and buy a reptilia or a badger or something like that but anyway um, so that should cover that one. Now we have Badger Condition 1. I really like these mounts. Um, they come in black, this brown, or I believe they do a clear anno as well. Don't hold me to that though. Uh, these are 318 to 335, depending on how you get the mount set up. Weighs 7.3 ounces, and they've got a their J-arm system that goes in these spaces here for an arm and a plate for a red dot and that setup will cost you about another ninety dollars i this is probably my my favorite mount of the ones that i own um this one is a 1.93 i like that height 
I don't have any experience with the 1.7 and I've got a ton of experience with the 154s that they both offer. Um, this is my favorite. Maybe I should try 1.7. Maybe that's what I'll do when I get rid of that Unity. Uh, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> now we have a LaRue can. Good solid mount. I, I've never really heard anybody complain about LaRue's mounts. Um, their QDs are kind of nice. This is, I believe this is only on their can mounts because that's what the, the can stands for. Um, this is 150 height. It's LT204. $244. And like the ADMs, you can get different rings. If, you know, this is 30. If I want to go to 34, I can just hop on their website and order the, the 34 millimeter rings. Um, I really like this, uh, this mount. It's my only room mount though. Um, so I'll take that for what it's worth. So the next mount we're going to talk about is the Reptilia AUS. This one came with the Voodoo from Amir. Um, I'd never messed with one of these prior to this, and I really like this mount. I just wish they made them a little bit taller as well. Um, this is a 154 height. These things are 324, 325, and weigh 6.25 ounces with their, their cap here. Now their cap, like I said, they make them for the Geisley as well, uh, and they also make them in an offset instead of just on top. This is a 90, I believe they make them in a 45. Uh, that cap is going to add $114.95 to your price. Uh, and then if you want a riser, they have risers that will go between the, the dot and the, and the cap. But I, like I said, I really like this mountain. Why I really like it, um, something so simple, but these clamps, they're spring-loaded. Okay, so when you loosen it, they drive themselves backwards and they stay in the right place so if you're swapping scopes a bunch like like we were for for this big test um that's super easy and it's just a nice thought that they they put into it a, a nice little feature i guess i should say um i, I I'm, I'm gonna pick one of these up i think um uh, can't speak to the the durability of it but i'm sure it's fine you know, so that's that one. And then we have a Midwest Industries mount that came on the Credo from Rich at CNM Tactical. It's not a bad looking mount. Uh, you can tell it's, it's big, you know, it's quite a bit uh, heavier profile than the other ones. And with that, you're going to suffer some weight. Uh, the Midwest, it weighs 8.85 ounces. Um, seems like a solid amount. Midwest usually makes some good stuff. I've never had one of these before. I don't care for the way their, their QD lock works. You've got to actually push it uh, up like that. It's just it's kind of backwards from the rest. Um, not awful, but again, preference. Uh, this is a 154 or 150 height. Um, you know, and these things are about 200 bucks, and they, they do offer them in a 1.9 height as well. So uh, another solid budget option uh, if you can afford to take some weight. Honestly, for the, the money, I'd probably go ADM, but that's just me. Uh, sorry, Midwest, but um, the last one I have, I would probably never recommend to anybody, but it is kind of neat, so I want to talk about it. Uh, this is a KDG slide lock. Uh, this is my mount. It, it's weird because it's it's spring loaded. You uh, when you set it on the gun, the clamps lock, and then it's got this lever. You got to push it. There's a button you got to push, and then push it down, and it stays unlocked until you set it on the on the rail again. You know, and that that button that you push there. Uh, you know, that's what, I'm sorry, on top there, that's what keeps it from accidentally coming loose. Um, pretty cool, really heavy, 9.65 ounces. Cost about 250 bucks, so they're they're not the most expensive, but they're certainly not cheap. Uh, this is a 155 center line, and for my limited research, that's all you can get them in. 
Uh, like I said, pretty cool. It, this is mine. Um, I've never had it come off anything, but I like a positive clamp, you know, something that you screw down or whatever. So, um, like I said, it's neat, but I, I personally couldn't recommend that to, to anyone, not to ATAC or the, the mount. So that's going to cover the mouse for today. Um, like I said, I, I just, I got a lot of questions on them. So I figured I'd put this together. You know, if you have any questions or comments on, on any of them, experience with them, you know, feel free to post it down in the comments. And uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. You know, we got more stuff coming. We're working on the, the footage and, and all that stuff from, from the rest of the big review. So uh, we should have more coming to you soon.